If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over the Detroit Lions defensive playbook, the cover four quarters, and how to use it. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button. Shout out to the MVPs and the MVP elites. Getting right into the breakdown. You want to make sure that you have auto base aligned on. No adjustments to your zone drops. You want to leave all them on default. Now, you can either use the linebacker or the safety. And I'm going to go over what you need to be watching out for when you are using this defense. So, we are setting up auto base align. This is very important. If they coming out in a trips type look, you can use man align. But you have to pay attention to exactly where you should be at in positions. Now, you're going to have wide receiver 1, wide receiver 2, and wide receiver 3. You, if you use the safety, you need to take any route that is going vertical. If you use the safety and somebody does a drag, a slant, you have to take that route all the way across the field because this is a matching concept. So right now, we are using the middle linebacker, and the reason why I'm doing that, I'm putting my middle linebacker on a blitzing angle, and I'm standing over the top of the center. That's going to make sure that my edges get a one-on-one, -on -one, and you see how fast we generate pressure to the quarterback. Back to the cover four setup. You want to have auto base aligned on. 3-3-5 Sam. Detroit Lions defensive playbook. You can use the middle linebacker or you can use the safety. Anytime there is a drag route, there is a slant route. If you are using the linebacker on the left side, you have to take that wide receiver that you can see was wide open on that play. My opponent did not see the open receiver. And that's what's going to be happening a lot in this game because they're going to have their initial number one read. They're going to have their number two read. And sometimes they're going to miss who they are supposed to throw the ball to. As he comes with a play action right here. And you can see number one, number two, and number three is completely put into a box. Styling on them. Okay, so my opponent has seen enough. He can't figure out the defense, so we're going to get into game number two. It's going to be the same exact mechanics. Wide receiver number one, wide receiver number two is on the left, and then we have a tight end and a streak on the other side. So as you can see right here, I was supposed to take that slant from the left to the right, the wide receiver. He was wide open. So we're going to look at this one more time, slow down. Now, like I said, I am using the safety, so I have to stay still for about a second and a half, and if it's a slant, I have to take that slant completely across the field. So there he is with a slant or a drag, and I run to help the tight end. So that slant is wide open, but my opponent was already looking at his second and third read. He throws an interception. So remember, if they go vertical, that's your responsibility. If they go onto a drag or a slant, you have to take that drag or slant all the way across the field. And that's the easiest way to run the best defense and set up the best blitz in Madden 22. If you're trying to be fresh and fly with great quality products, go in the link in the description. My merchandise is live right now. And you can also get a discount using MVP10 at check out we got t-shirts v-necks hoodies we got coffee mugs everything that you need for your phone iphone samsung android for the ladies leggings we got it don't be a hater your whole life and lessons to blessings god bless everybody that gets it if you rocking with me you know i got y'all